In this video, I want to show you how to fix the most common hand technique problem I see in all my students. Let's get started. What's up drummers? Welcome into today's lesson. My name is Dave Major of davemajormusic.com and today we're talking hand technique. Before we go any further though, remember that if you do like this video, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on the next video that I do post, which will be next week, and hit like on this video to let me know that you like these kind of videos. Now today we're talking about the most common problem I've ever encountered when teaching hand technique to students of all ages, of all abilities. I did it myself. Disclosure, full disclosure, I did this myself. Now this problem has such an effect on your relaxation, on your speed, on your dynamics, and more importantly, on the sound you can make out of this instrument. The drums, cymbals, any drum kit will sound terrible if you play like this. Now I'm not gonna string you along anymore, let me tell you what the problem is. The problem is the angle of your forearm. And I often see two things with students. Some students will have this. And they look a lot like T-Rexes. Some students will play with their forearms angled down. And they sound very aggressive. Now, depending on the angle of your forearm, that will have a different kind of detrimental effect to your stroke and therefore the sound that you make, which is what the whole blooming point. Get a good sound out the drums. That means if you play the worst kit in a rehearsal room or the most amazing, beautiful, custom-made kit with all your amazing cymbals in an amazing studio, you will sound just as good and you will get a great sound out of every single instrument that you play. Now, if you've got your forearm too high, what's happening here? Well, you've changed the angle of the stick and the angle of attack. Now, basic physics, if I throw a ball straight down, it's gonna to wanna to come straight back up. If I throw it at this angle, it's gonna to wanna to go opposite at that angle. Energy is going in the opposite direction of where I throw it. Now, if we think about that, if I'm throwing my stick down like this, the energy really wants to go back here. And that means that it's going basically where it can't go. It's trying to go somewhere where it's unable to go. And therefore the stick has no rebound. Therefore, I have to lift the stick to play it again. So for every one sound, I have to play twice. Down, up, I have to play two motions. And therefore, I'm working twice as hard as I need to. So by changing the angle of the stick and lowering your forearm, you're suddenly allowing the stick to rebound. Now to demonstrate that, I'm going to go from neutral position to T-Rex arms, neutral position, T-Rex arms. Check this. Now, if you've been trying this at home, you'll notice that as you go higher, you also feel that everything gets tense, like these muscles here are tensing up and you're kind of like becoming really, really stiff. That also has an effect on your potential speed. So the more relaxed you are, the faster you'll go. So that will have an effect, having your arms up like this will have an effect on the maximum speed that you can play. If you're the opposite, if you're too low, check what happens. Now I was just dropping my forearm a little bit to demonstrate, but you notice the difference in sound there. When I lowered it, it became more aggressive, more voluminous, it became more sort of punchy. It's kind of a good thing if you want that sound, but you're limited by that. If you have your forearm low and then bring it back up into a normal position, you'll see that the stick is at a 45 degree angle, it's ready to go. It's gonna always give you that kind of loud stroke. So now that I've talked about the problem, now I've explained why it's a problem, Let's explain how to fix it. So it's really simple, you put down your sticks. Do this with me, by the way. You drop your arms so they're level, it's almost like you've slept on both of them, they're really relaxed, and then you just lift them up so the forearm from the elbow is level. Put your sticks in your hand, and you're away to go. Now if you have your arm too low, you're gonna get an aggressive sound. If you have your arm too high, you're gonna get a thin sound. Sound is the most important thing here. How you sound on the drum kit, how you sound on the practice pad, is how you sound with a band. And that's what people hear. The drums aren't a visual instrument. Despite me talking to a camera, they're not a visual instrument. They're an oral instrument. So they should sound good before they look good. And you wanna get the best sound you can and your sound starts on the practice pad. So that'll do it for today, guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe, hit that notification bell and the like button. But until next time, stay safe and happy drumming.